Parsippany's out to a 3-0 lead as we head into 126 pounds, and Brandon Liebfred secures the second period takedown en route to a 7-0 win, and the Red Hawks now lead 6-0. At 132 pounds, Steven Persaud gets three quick back points in this match, and he would go on for a pin later in the match at 152, and Parsippany is up 12-0. I just went out there, you know, focused on make sure getting a good warm-up before my match, you know, and going out there just pretty much just being aggressive and, you know, wrestling my style, like doing what I do in practice, same thing I normally would do. You know, it just, I just took it as another match, like, you know, nothing special, just went out there and, you know, do what I always do. We go to 138 pounds and Brandon Jones of Parsippany locks up the cross face cradle and picks up the pin in 57 seconds, giving the Red Hawks a quick 18-0 lead. We move to 145 pounds and Vinny Pelicani with the headlock and the second period pin in 256 as Parsippany now leads 24-0. Parsippany continues the pin parade at 152 pounds as Jeff Weir locks up the cradle and the pin in 39 seconds and the Red Hawks are up 30 to nothing. We move to the second period at 160 pounds and Michael Illick of Parsippany with a cradle of his own as he gets the pin in 216 and Parsippany is now leading 36 to nothing. With time winding down in the first at 170 pounds, Aaron Feliz rolls his opponent over for the pin at 155 to give the Red Hawks a 42-0 lead. I just did everything I had to do for the team, get them all those bonus points that we needed. Um, just doing everything I had to do, what I worked on during the offseason, and uh, try to get our team that win. After a forfeit at 182, Nigel Feliz keeps it going for Parsippany as he locks up the pin in 25 seconds, and the Red Hawks are up 54-0. At 220 pounds, time is ticking away in the first, but Andrew Masewski of Parsippany gets the pinfall at 158 as the Red Hawks have a 60 to nothing lead. I moved up a weight class today, had to do my job. Coach needed me to get out there, get my six, and I took care of business. At 285 pounds, it's Carlos Wayman of Parsippany with a third period takedown, en route to a three nothing decision, and it is now 63 to nothing Red Hawks. 106 pounds we go, and it's Sean Gentile with the reversal in the third period as he gets the 5-0 decision and Parsippity's now leading 66 to nothing. We finish the match at 113 pounds and PJ Gone of Parsippany locks up the quick pin in just 19 seconds as the Red Hawks go on to beat Madison by a score of 72 to nothing. I just had to move up and I know, knew what I had to get to do to get the job done and I had to execute to get the job done just like everybody else. I went over like just try to have everyone get a good warm up so we're out there ready to wrestle do our best and came out on top with all like got a lot of pins. Our guys have been wrestling all all season long. We've been wrestling in dual tournaments down in Long Branch. Uh, we've been doing everything we can just to get better as a team while working together all the time. A lot of guys have been wrestling in freestyle and Greco over the summer. A couple of our guys made it to Fargo which is nationals uh, representing Team New Jersey. Um, just doing everything we had to do as a team. Uh, suffering through a couple, maybe a little bit of drama in our squad, uh, just doing everything we can just to get better. If some guys were hurt, just fixing everything we had to do, fix our bumps and bruises, and uh, get out of that sectional title hopefully this year. It was really surprising. I thought it would be a closer match than it was, but we all went out there, did our job, because we've been working hard in the room, working hard together as a team, and we did, we did our best. We can just have to get better and better each time, so when we have to wrestle the good teams, we can beat them. Talk about the senior leadership on this team. Senior leadership is good. We all push each other hard, and we try to make ourselves get better in the room every day and get pumped for our matches. Being a captain, I try to, you know, not only just make sure I'm always working hard, but you know, in the like in the wrestling room, and not even just during the wrestling room, like anywhere I see my teammates, you know, always, you know, just trying to be positive and have a good mindset and uh, go out there, win or lose, just you know, try our best, give it our, give it our all, and then, uh, leave it all on the mat, you know, try and just get better every single practice. It's really an honor to be able to go out there and lead the team as best as I can, um, making sure that everyone's working hard, working to the best of their abilities, and then I'm pushing myself as well, and I'm a positive role model for them and leading by example.